Well, th- why don't we start with that? Like, have, yeah. do you know what kind of energy do you notice from the crowd and from this change? Uh, there's just an enthusiasm around here that you can feel. There's a lot of optimism for what the future can hold. Uh, there's a lot of excitement. You feel like a like a little weight has been lifted off of everybody's shoulders. Um, and I'm just excited to be a part of it. I'm extremely blessed to be in this situation where I'm one of the leaders of this team, uh, to be a part of the legends that were here, and to be a part of uh, what Josh Harris and the rest of the group is trying to build here in Washington is extremely excited. And it just makes me want to be even more hungry to get back ready for work on Tuesday. Terry, you're at the press conference. Did yeah. anything stick out to you that, that, that he said? What, yeah. what was so poignant? Um, I think, to be honest, his personability was the number one thing that stuck out to me. I feel like, um, you know, when you own a team, it's probably pretty hard to kind of have that trickle down effect. But when I first met him and along with the other uh, owners, they just were really personable and, and wanted to provide anything that we needed as players to make sure that this experience for us is completely uh, different than it may have been in the past and also can take us to new heights. And I think that's extremely important because I think that's sometimes lost in, um, in the hustle and bustle of business. And we get it as a business, but at the same time, the players is what make the business. I truly really believe that. And I think they're uh, really a group that's confident in not only uh, what it takes to win, but also empowering us to do what we need to do to win on the field. And um, now it's on us as players and the leaders to implement those those things on the field come this season and start to uh, build some consistent changes around here. You've asked, we've asked you a lot of ownership-related yeah. questions over the years. To finally not have to <laughs> deal with all the off-field yeah. stuff, how yeah. much can that help you yeah. guys? Uh, I think that's uh, the best part of it all, to be honest, to kind of be able to truly focus on the field and to hear that from the ownership, that they echo that same sentiment that the players have been feeling internally for so long. Where We just get to focus on our jobs, which is playing on the football field. And like I said, we all understand it's a business and there's other components to that. But, um, you know, we're football players and we're leaders in the community. And those are the two things that we get to focus on. And that's what they're going to do to try to empower us to do that. So um, it's an exciting day for us as players. I know my teammates are excited and I'm just um, looking forward to getting back with them and our coaches and, and making our mark for this year. I said they want to win all the time, but when it comes to Magic Johnson, yeah. so what did you make of that? Uh, man, he's a legend, you know what I mean? To really, truly um, see what he's done on the court, um, in his community, the man of God he is, uh, the leader he is, and what he's done in business. He's literally set the blueprint of hopefully some of the type of person and player I want to be one day. Um, when Not only during my career winning championships and being an all-star and and hopefully a Hall of Famer, but uh, being a successful business person and a leader in your community. So to have someone like that who has the open door policy to where you can uh, ask him questions and learn almost like a mentor, that's a dream of mine. So um, to see his excitement and um, his tenacity for winning and to hear him say like he wouldn't be in this if it wasn't to win, it's not about the ego of it all and being an owner. I, uh, I think that's extremely important and that speaks to the players. I know it spoke to me, so we're excited. Are you surprised, you know, you talk about like fresh start and all that. Are you yeah. surprised at maybe how much, you know, after the fact now, yeah. based on seeing the reaction, maybe uh, how much everybody needed one? Um, yeah, you truly don't understand the weight of everything in the years. Like I said, I've only been here for five years and so a lot of the things that were possibly transpiring were before I even got here. So. Even I couldn't uh, appreciate the weight, but when you get the questions, obviously the things that you see in the media, things like that, you know, that kind of weighs on you at to ask, answer those questions. And now it's like a clean slate for everyone. I know for Coach Rivera, for the front office staff, uh, for our fans as well, they get to kind of get back to focusing on uh, the importance of what's on the field instead of necessarily worrying about what could possibly be going on off the field. And um, I think the number one thing I really take away from the day is meeting with the legends and, and the owners is uh, the. I already had appreciation of this, but the deep, rich history of how uh, the former Redskins and now the Commanders, how how deep these roots are. And uh, Mr. Harris and the rest of the group, they grew up fans of this 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 team and this organization. And I <clears throat> spoke to, you know, obviously I get to talk to Doug Williams a lot, and uh, I want to be a part of that. We all want to be a part of something special, greater than ourselves, and that's what winning championships, but also bringing a culture back to D.C. and the capital uh, that hasn't been seen in some years. So. Uh, just to have the opportunity to be a part of, of that and be a leader on this team, I'm extremely grateful and it makes me want to continue to um, increase my level of play and leadership to make sure that those possibilities become reality. Two more. When you see the legends and Coach Gibbs yeah. get excited for yeah. something like this, that's got to be, a, yeah. I mean, they've been around before, but yeah. nothing like this. Definitely. I think, um, you know, we can all kind of get into political, you know, politically correctness and talk, but you could feel the genuine energy and relief in that room. Uh, when you got to meet with Coach Gibbs and the former, um, 
legends of this organization, the guys who helped built this place, and they've had a taste of what it used to be. And so they've seen it at the peak, and they've unfortunately seen it where it's been in the past. And now uh, we all have, it seems like everybody's on the collective uh, moving in the right direction to try to build this place to right, right back where it once was and where it needs to be. So it's exciting to be a part of that.